Yeah, the fight's on St. Patrick's Day, 2017, uh, March 17th. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it's in New York, Madison Square Garden, in the Mecca of boxing. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's one of the most iconic venues in, in boxing, in, in the history of boxing. So, you know, be fighting there on my debut, um, especially to be, for that venue to be in New York on St. Patrick's Day, it's, it's special. And of course, um, your brother and then Paddy, it's all, it's all happening for you as well, isn't it? Yeah, they're fighting next week now, so we're, we're all busy now, you know, we're, we're all in the, in the working man's sport and we're, we're non-stop at the minute, so these boys are going to fight next week, they're going to get, get the wins and then Jamie is going to have a, a world title eliminator in his, his next fight, which hopefully is sometime next year, uh, and hopefully I can feature on the same card, it would be amazing. Uh, for me, the same top rank was an easy choice. You know, they're the best in the business. If you look at their track record, who they've signed and what they've done with the fighters, they had Floyd Mayweather, Oscar Alhoya, Miguel Caro, they even had Ali at one stage. So, you know, they've had, all, oh, they've had the best fighters throughout their, throughout their career and, uh, and brought them all the way to the top. So, you know, for me to be, be with them is, is very, very pleasing. And, well, finally, just after the Olympics, have you, have you, have you got over that disappointment? Yeah, yeah, I'm over it. You know, it's it's in the past. You know, there's nothing I can do to change it, and there's nothing that I would do to change it. It's it's done. So you know, I, I forgot about it already, and I'm moving on. I've been excited about uh, Michael Conlon since the London Olympics in 2012. I mean, when I say excited, just just as a fan, and you know, I didn't I didn't foresee myself being involved in his career. Obviously, then four four years down the line. We built up a, a bit of a friendship, you know, we stayed in touch, I'd wish him good luck, I'd tweet and this kind of thing. Jamie, Danny's brother, I ended up managing Jamie, he's gone on and uh, been involved in some great fights and he's, you know, really progressing in his career and looking now, hopefully, to knock on for a world title shot soon. But the news today, really, with Mick signing with a uh, top rank, um, you know, the, 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 the deep promoters in uh, boxing, really, you know, when you look down through the, the years, the history, they have all the Hagler Hearns fights, the, the Muhammad Ali fights, Right up to Manny Pacquiao in recent years, De La Hoya, Miguel Cato, Floyd Mayweather. All the, even though they went on in the end and promoted themselves in later years, it was top rank that brought them from the Olympics and, and created them and built them into superstars. And we feel that they're the right people to bring uh, to guide Nick's career.